Hey y'all, it's Kinsey here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today we are going to be diving into the world of drugstore makeup. So if you want to find an affordable option, then just keep watching. Okay, so I wanted to do this drugstore favorite video for you guys because you don't have to have like all expensive makeup for it to be good, okay? So, whatever someone tells you is totally wrong, but um, I have a bag over here with um, all of my drugstore favorites and also some new things that I want to try out today. So, let's just go ahead and dive into that. Let me grab my brow product. Okay, so for brows, we have the NYX Professional Makeup Micro brow pencil I absolutely love this pencil it honestly is so good for so cheap let me show you how much it is I think I wrote all the prices down for most of it so the NYX micro brow pencil is only ten dollars that is so good if you ask me because the benefit one that I get I think is like around 24 and then the Huda one is like 18 so $10 for this baby um so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera um with this and I will be right back and I'll probably have you guys zoomed in so we can go for the eyeshadow okay I'm back my brows are done I went ahead and primed my eyes so we can do eyeshadow um for my brow pencil, I use the shade Ash Brown. I'm not really loving how my brows turned out today. Um, I don't really know why they <laughs> look like this, I guess. Um, but they kind of look a little red on camera, but they're definitely not red in person. I mean, the brow pencil is awesome. I love the pencil, but like, I've been doing more of like a fluffy brow recently, and I've been using like brow gels. But I don't have any brow gels from the drugstore, so I just skip that step. So when I'm done, I might just have to run some brow gel through my brows. Um, but anyway, besides that, I did prime my eyes with concealer, but I'll show you guys that later. Um, so for eyes, I have a few options. Um, hmm, let's see. Sorry if you hear my bag, I'm digging through. <laughs> but... <coughs> I do have a few options for eyes. I don't honestly have that many um, drugstore eyeshadows because I just really haven't found a formula that I like. So I have more of like Morphe ColourPop type stuff that is, I mean, it's technically drugstore prices, but um, you can't really get them in the drugstore. You can get Morphe at Ulta, so I guess you can consider that. But I'm going to show you guys all my options and then I think I will decide what I want to go in with okay so my first eyeshadow palette that I want to show you is from Revolution and this is the Soph X Makeup Revolution um, Super Spice palette if you guys don't know who Soph is I absolutely love her um, I think her YouTube is Soph Does Life she might have changed it but I absolutely love her um, so I had to support her by getting her palette and I absolutely love it. Here is what the inside looks like. It is so colorful and beautiful. It has like all the colors of the rainbow. It also has some neutrals in here. So, yes. But I think you can get Revolution at Ulta, I believe. Um, but this, unfortunately, I think is um, limited edition, which is very sad. But... I absolutely love this palette, so I might go on this. I'm not sure yet, but a couple other options I have are the Juvia's Place palettes. Juvia's Place is amazing. You can't get them at, like, Walmart or Target, but you can get them at Ulta in the drugstore section. Um, but I want to first show you guys the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. Look at this. So beautiful, so colorful, absolutely stunning. I love it. also have the Magic Mini by Juvius. Here's what that one looks like on the inside. Also pretty colorful, but definitely has some neutrals in there. 
And then one last palette that I want to show you guys from Drugstore. We actually get this one at Walmart or Target. I'm sure you can get it at Ulta as well. But this is the e.l.f. Um, Bite Size Eyeshadows. Here is the shades I got. Go ahead and open them and show you. I have actually not tried these yet. But I've heard great things about them. So I picked up one to try. Here's what that one looks like on the inside. Just like very neutral. I did swatch them already, but yeah. So this is just a very neutral um, little mini palette that you could like take with you when you're traveling or something. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually start out with the purple shade in the Zulu palette. They don't have names, so I can't really tell you the names, but I'm just going to dip my brush in there and I'm just going to go... What shape do I want to go for? Um, I don't know, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap that right there on the outer corner, like so. I'm going to kind of, I think I'm going to do like a winged out look. I'm going to start to like wing it up like that. It looks messy because it will be until I start blending it out. But, I just like to pack on the color first and then I will blend after. So it's going to look very messy. I'm going to take a Morphe M456 brush. This is just, it's stained. It's not dirty, but it's stained. Um, just another tiny blender. I think I'm going to go into the shade um, Papa from the Soph X Revolution palette. It's very pretty, like, warm purple. I'm just going to take that very carefully right on top of that shade from the Zulu palette and just gonna kind of wiggle right at the edge to start you know blending it out so this is kind of what I'm doing um it looks very messy right now but then I will go and blend it out again but I'm just gonna do that to the other eye now I'm already loving how this is looking. I just love purple eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. I hope I'm gonna try and tag Soph in this and like send her a bunch on my like Instagram and I want her to see it and I want her to see my eyeshadow with her palette. <laughs> I doubt she will, but you know, just the thought. <laughs> All right, so now that I look like a crazy person, <laughs> I'm going to, sorry if my voice sounds all like scratchy, I am getting over a sickness, so yeah, <laughs> but I'm just going to clean off my brush again on my hand, because I forgot my switch, color switch, but I'm going in with the M433 brush, it's just a little bit of a bigger <clears throat> blender, and I'm going to go into Lockdown, which is that really, really pale purple up in the corner from the soap palette and I'm just going to tap generously into that and just start to blend those purple shades out even more than before. <clears throat> it's a very very light shade so I think I'm going to actually tap into a little bit of lockdown mixed with Papa just to add in a little bit of a deeper because this is almost too pastel, pastel, but yeah. It's looking a lot better. I am so, I wanted to go in with this shade since I got the palette, but I haven't because I haven't done any like purpley looks, but I'm going to go in with the shade Dreamy in her palette. It's like a, kind of like a duochrome, silvery, purpley, like, can you see that? Come on, focus on my finger. Like, see that? Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just going to take my finger, even though my nails are so long, and just start out. Oh, look at that shade. So pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to take a makeup wipe. I'm going to clean up the edge of this look, just so it looks snatched. And also get rid of all of the fallout from under my eye. This is why... I like to do my eyes first now because it's so much easier for a clean up. 
Because, like, I couldn't do this if I had a full face on because then I would just wipe off my makeup. So, wipe off my foundation. So much easier just to do it after. Okay, so now that the eyes are done for now, we're going to go ahead and move on to our face. For primer, I have a couple primers to talk about today. Um, I think I'm going to go in with my new one, but I am going to talk about my favorite drugstore primer that I've ever tried. Elf Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. Here's what that looks like. You can see it's just like a very mint color. But I did pick up a new primer to try, and this is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Just a very, like, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that like very stringy it's supposed to be hydrating I think so I'm just going to take the little spatula that it comes with and just kind of uh, run it on my face I guess so cold I guess that's what I'm going to do I don't know my hair is a mess today so sorry about that but, but I'm just going to kind of rub it in it's very very like slippy like watery I guess it's not very thick it feels very watery it feels hydrating definitely has a little bit of a stick to it so that's good for foundation I have two foundations to talk about actually um, I'm probably gonna mix them just because so I have my new drugstore favorite or you know, this is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This is what Tati did a video on. This is now, I believe, her favorite foundation. But I tried it. It's gorgeous. But this shade isn't that good for me. It's my all-time favorite drugstore foundation. This stuff is so good. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear foundation. I'm just going to go and mix these two colors. I have 445 and 400. Um, 445 is vanilla, I believe. Um, yeah, 445 vanilla and 400 pearl. I am going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. This is dirty, so sorry about that, but I like to take this end of it just because it's easier to get right into those crevices. Mm, that shade's like so good for me. Yay. Alright. This foundation is gorgeous. Like, oh, so pretty. It has such a beautiful finish. Fresh wear is like the perfect thing. Because it's definitely just fresh. <laughs> That sounds so stupid for me to say because it's literally in the title, but this foundation just gives you, like, uh, such a beautiful skin-like finish. And for concealer, I have three concealers to talk about. Um, this one is from Juvia's Place. I just got this like um, a week ago and I already fell in love with it. The shade is a little too pink for me, which is why I'm not just going to use this one, but I absolutely love this concealer. It's so full coverage. It blends out beautifully under your eye and ugh, I just love it. I have the shade 20, so I am going to go in with this first. This is beautiful, but this is honestly too dark for me right now. This is like my summer shade and even though it is summer I didn't get a very good tan this year because I was inside most of the time <laughs> and then for last I have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear this is my favorite drugstore concealer of all time I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place one first because this is so full coverage and I'm absolutely loving this right now I just like to take this like under my eyes and like a little on my nose because that's I need the most coverage under my eyes so I take that under there because it's very full coverage oh my gosh it's so beautiful absolutely love that concealer so much now I'm gonna take 
That L'Oreal one, as you can see, it's very light, very pale. I just use this to brighten, and it has beautiful coverage. <laughs> Alright, so now that I have my under eyes blended out, I look pale, <laughs> because I love how that looks, having the such difference. So I am going to go in with a cream bronzer. <laughs> this is just the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, but I have it in a darker shade so that I can use it for bronzer. You literally need like that much because it's a concealer, so it's like extra coverage. And I just like to kind of stipple it out like that. And then I like to kind of blend it upwards around the face. And obviously, since it's a concealer, you can always add more for more coverage. I'm going to add a tiny bit more. I always like to take whatever concealer is left on my sponge and kind of just, you know, go underneath here. Just to, like, cut it. That way it looks more sharp. Like, already, look at the difference. This side looks all, like, wool. <laughs> And this side just looks, looks so lifted and sculpted. It's so pretty. Love it. I'm going to go on to powder. And for powder, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 05 Fair. I absolutely love this. This is actually my favorite powder of all time, not even just from the drugstore. I do like to just dip in and get a decent amount of powder on there and then, like, tap it off on my hand because I don't want to, like, a ton of powder. Right, so now that powder is done, we're going to move on to bronzer. I have two things to talk about for bronzer. First, let's talk about the one that I think I'm going to use today, my newer one that I haven't really tried. This is the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer in the shade 115 Sunkissed Beam. So I did have Sunlight Glow, and it was just too light. It didn't show up at all. So I went ahead and got the darker one to try, and it looks like it's going to work, so hopefully. But then my favorite bronzer from the drugstore is the Maybelline City Bronzer. This packaging is a little bit different. i focus. This packaging is different than the normal. I think I got the glowy one by accident because it's glowy, obviously, but... I don't think the original is glowy. I don't know. I've never tried the one in just the normal black packaging. But, yeah. So, this is in the shade 200. I'm going to go in with this one because I honestly have not tried it yet. Um, I'm just going to take my Bling Brushes Page Corn F23. Let's go ahead and start applying. I mean, it's showing up for sure, this one is, compared to the other one. Everything looks so much more saturated on the camera than it does in real life, because mine, like, in real life, I can, like, barely see it, but... Now that we are done with the bronzer, we're going to move on to blush. And honestly, I never... I didn't use blush that much when I first started in makeup I just didn't like it but now I love it <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about two blushes first is the elf what is this I think it's the elf bite size face duos I think this is in the shade white peach I love this blush I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like an orangey, very orange peachy blush. Um, those are $3. And they are so good. So if you need a cheap blush, elf. Then I also have the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Volume 2 Blush. Look at these. So absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go in with this one because the elf one is too peachy for this look. Um, I think anyway. But yeah, so here is the Blink Bar Blinked Brushes Page Corn Club in F24. It's just like the angled blush brush. I'm going to go in 
mostly with the pinky shade, but I'm going to tap a little bit into the deeper shade as well. These blushes are so pigmented. <laughs> I'm back. My under eyes are done. I went for, obviously, a more smoky look today. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the highlighters. I have two highlighters that I absolutely love. Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter in the shade A Break Glimmer. Gorgeous light gold highlight. Absolutely beautiful. Revolution X Soap Highlighter. This is the Cookies and Cream Duo. This shade is beautiful and that's what I'm going in with today because it's my favorite highlighter from the drugstore ever. Um, beautiful, so literally watch this, like, oh my gosh. So now, before I go in with, like, my mascara and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and, like, set my face. Um, this is new to me. I've honestly never tried this, um, so I'm going to be trying it today. But I also really love the Pixie Glow Mist and the Pixie Milky Mist. The Milky Mist is the best, but I don't have any right now. So I'm going to try this. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Multitasking Spray. Yes, let's check out the mister. Pretty nice mister. Let's go ahead and go in with it. Like, don't even feel it hitting my face. Is it because the mister is so fine or just because I'm missing? I don't know. It smells gorgeous. This mist, honestly, Made my skin look really good, kind of blended all the powders in. I'll see how it holds up. I don't know. I can't really tell you right now, but so far it looks good. Let's go ahead and talk about mascara. I have the Maybelline Sky High and the L'Oreal Telescopic. These are so good mixed together. This one is good... But I like the L'Oreal one better, in my opinion. It just works better. It's more voluminous, but on a day where I'm just wearing mascara, I will mix these two and my um, Benefit Roller Lash. I know that's a lot, but it's just a necessity. I have to. For that, I have two lashes to talk about. Um, these are the Eyelore London lashes. I don't know the style because I literally just have them like this now. But these are amazing. I also have the Batty B lashes in the style hashtag InstaBatty. These are from Walmart. They're more expensive, I think, but these are what I'm going to go in with today. I'm just going to use my duo lash glue. While my lash glue is drying, I'll go ahead and show you guys some lip liners and lipsticks that I really like from the drugstore. So, I like the NYX Professional Makeup Suede Lip Liner. This is the matte one. I have it in the shade Stockholm. I'll swatch it for you guys. This one might be the one I go in with today. Not sure. Here's that one. It's just very pinky. And then I have the NYX Normal Lip Pencil in Nutmeg. This is just like their more creamy version, which I like a lot better. These are amazing, but here's that one. Just like a more brownie nude. And then the lipsticks are the L'Oreal, what are these called? L'Oreal Color Rich lipsticks. This was in the shade 750 Matte Espresso. I love this color. I think I'm going to go in with this one today, actually. If it'll go with my look. Hmm. Yeah, probably. I also have the shade 740 Honey Matte. Those are the two shades that I have. So pretty, so good. Okay, I'm back with the lashes on and I am not loving these lashes. These are not it. Like I don't like these. Um 
Yeah, no. I thought I liked these, but I guess I have two pairs of the Batty B lashes, so I think it's the other pair that I like. These are huge, and they don't match. Like, they're the same pair of lashes, but they don't match. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend these in this style. The lashes, I think they're in hashtag IG, are the ones that I like. So those are good. These, not so much. Alright guys, I'm back with the mascara on the bottom. I just, these lashes are not it. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with the lip liner in the shade Nutmeg, which is the more brown one. I'm going to go in with the shade Espresso first. Oh no, I forgot to roll it down. That sucks. This shade matches the lip liner so well. I love this shade, but I am going to add the lighter one in the center just because this is a little dark. Yeah, that concludes my drugstore favorite slash trying new <laughs> drugstore makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some new drugstore options to possibly try because I love so many of these products. Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products and liked them or didn't like them. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever you're doing. I love you all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. I'm trying to grow my channel and it would just help help a lot please if you don't mind sharing the video as well to someone who you might think this is helpful or you might think they like just please share i love you all and have a great rest of your day bye